links in the description. If you do like this video, if you like this topic, then please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. Have a quick look at some of the other videos that I have on the channel. You'll see that they're very much similar to this article uh, that I read through. I typically read through the articles on the same day or the day after they're published. So mostly they are breaking news to keep you up to date. Um, and I, again, I'm providing the link should you wish to read through that in your own good time. Um, this is a story which you might well be familiar with. Uh, it's in regards to Sophie Long, who thankfully has been found uh, safe and sound in a foreign country. Um, I don't, I haven't been following the Sophie Long story uh, saga. I've been aware of it a little bit, but I've not looked into that a great deal. So you might want to go on to some other YouTube uh, videos to look into the whole subject, the whole saga uh, in more detail. But thankfully... She's being returned to the United States. So we'll uh, have a look at the article. A Texas girl, 11 years of age, who disappeared over the summer with her dad, who did not have custody, was found safe in a foreign country. A Texas girl who has been missing since July uh, has been found safe uh, after her dad refused to hand her over to her maternal aunt. The Collin County Sheriff's Office is making arrangements to fly Sophie Long, 11 years of age, uh, Sophie Long, back to Texas. Deputies declined to say what country she was in, though authorities previously said she and her dad could have been en route to Argentina or Mexico. Her father, Michael Long, there he is, Michael Long, um... Her father, Michael Long, will be extradited to the United States to face a felony charge of interference with child custody, according to the Dallas Morning News. Long, Michael Long, said he didn't want to return Sophie to her mother's family in early July after the little girl accused her mom's fiancé of sexual abuse. In a meeting with the Daily Mail in August, Sophie appeared happy to be with her father as she spoke about her A grades at school and her favourite classes. Sophie was at the centre of a bitter custody dispute with her dad, Mother Kelly, uh, and her aunt, who, was, who she was sent to live with in May. She was last seen on July the 12th in Seguin, northeast of San Antonio, but has since been found in a foreign country and will be, will be back to the United States soon. Here's a quote from the county sheriff. Many months of determined work by my deputies, the, the FBI and the U.S. Marshals paid off this morning. We are so happy Sophie is safe. Uh, deputies say they won't reveal more information until Sophie is back in the United States. Sophie's dad, Michael Long, 43 years of age, was due to show up at a court in McKinney, Texas in August for a hearing over a motion that could send him to jail for almost three years. But he told the Daily Mail uh, that that um, in an in a interview which took place the day before the warrant was issued, that the only way he would return to court and bring his daughter home is if he's allowed to put his case before a jury. Um, so that, that's pretty much all of the article that I wish to read through. I'll just finish off with this last part. According to her father... Uh, Sophie claims she was sexually abused by her mother's fiancé, Jacob Bellington, and was diagnosed with a vaginal or vaginal infection after being taken to the hospital last summer. She was also interviewed by a specialist nurse with her father outside the room and repeated the claims to her. Again, I've not followed the case too much. Perhaps you have. Um, it seems quite the saga. It seems that the father from what he states, was protecting the daughter, if I'm understanding this correctly, uh, but arguably not doing so in a legal capacity. Um, it looks like they've eloped, if that's the right word, to a South American country, uh, Mexico or Argentina, perhaps. Um, and I may be getting some of those details incorrect. I've not followed, followed the story, but... 
the outcome is that Sophie Long has been identified by the FBI, by U.S. Marshals. She is being flown back to the United States. She is safe and uh, she'll continue to be safe, uh, which is, of course, the, the main thing. Um, I guess we shall see if justice will be served. Um, you know, has Michael committed a heinous crime? I don't know. Or I don't know. I really don't know. Perhaps he was acting in defense of his daughter. Uh, perhaps he ought to be applauded for his actions. I really don't know. Um, and is the the uh, the mother's fiance, if I'm understanding that part right, is he guilty of uh, of molesting, uh, sexually abusing the young girl? Uh, we don't know, of course, but hopefully that is investigated and. Hopefully justice is served in that regard too. Um, so I guess the big takeaway is that this young girl who has been missing to some extent, or you know, the, the, the authorities, the mother seemingly didn't know where she was. And of course that's going to be a huge worry, even if the father was aware of where she was, uh, even if the father was protecting her. Uh, regardless of that, it's got to be a huge relief for the family that she is has been found safe and is returning to the United States. So I guess is congratulations the, the best word? I'm not sure. <laughs>